Hello, lovely. I was drawn to this energy, drawn to this deck, and I do believe that we are going to receive an accurate reading here about the current Divine Masculine energies, because what they have just experienced, not only traumatized, but I think overwhelmed them with a lot of information, a lot of downloads. So I just wanted to pull a few cards, I already blessed and shuffled, to find out what it is that you need to know right now. And we will read the last card out of the book. We'll see what it says. But what do you need to know overall about divine masculine experiencing this pain, experiencing this suffering, but also what's happening, what's happening moving forward? Because I think that that is what they're missing. So you probably have to be the one to keep it in mind. Okay. Whoa. Aw, that's so dope. I flipped through these cards, but I don't remember this. Oh my God, I don't know why. Okay, so. Holy Spirit. This 39 stands out to me. I don't know why. The dove also. Knowing when to walk away from battles just comes through so strong with this energy. But the freedom, the joy, there is something special about this energy. And I think that moving forward, Divine Masculine will have the ability. Have you ever, have you guys seen those viral frolicking videos where it's like people you would typically associate with masculine standards and da 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 skipping through the park? twirling la 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 like 40 year old grown men or even like alone or with their partner or even some like with their kid or something just having fun and being free and it's actually so sweet it's so strange but it's so sweet there's something about this that says moving forward divine masculine will have something to celebrate something that will make them feel like they have been given some grace from divine what, else, what are we missing about this? I think that the doorway, with this despair energy, if you look at the dark energy surrounding, but then we also have this archway opening up into some, some new place. And the light is so bright. And it's almost the same color as this grace background. And I think it says getting through the darkness into the light can be very, very scary for some people, very jarring, very overwhelming. So I think that might be what's happening right now, embracing this new energy as they suffer, as they feel this despair. What is the first thing you need to know? Ooh. Celebration joy guides. This is interesting because we saw a figure dancing here in the base that made me think about that joy. And then now we see these Almost like um, angels of that same kind of creature or that same kind of person. They're, they look similar, but they're angelic. They're like a seraphim type vibe. And here, rather than someone being in their most basic element under like the Holy Spirit grace, now I feel like we're getting more of a 3D depiction. And there is so much love and abundance here. And I think what this says is, the divine masculine has no idea what to do with what's coming. And because of what they're going through, I think that after a while, they're going to look back and wonder if they let some things slip through their fingers. But on the other side, I don't, I don't think that's really the case. I think divine has everything set up to where what's yours is yours, you know? And so divine masculine really needs to figure out how do I process happiness after a lifetime of being told Basically not to smile, like kind of what are you smiling at energy, but also a lifetime of not really having much to smile about often enough to feel like it's a normal thing. So you need to know today that Divine Masculine needs your help celebrating life and that as you try to help them with that, it might be challenging and they might be obnoxious or annoying or rude or even dry, brooding, quiet, whatever it is. And it might make you feel like, oh, well, uh, I'll just celebrate by myself. But give them that grace because this is new to them. What the, the energy that they're about to experience is new, okay? Mm. What else do you need to know? 
victory, divine helpers, that as a part of this offering, there are people on the way. And I, and it's very interesting because the whole, the Holy Spirit, it's like Jesus says, I will send him. Right. So if we think about the Holy Spirit being some, this, this being the Ruach, the spirit that can go to everybody, that's what that means. So then you have nature spirits and that's helping you get through, I think, what is talking more about the physical, the, the physics even of moving from one energy to another. But now you've got joy guides, divine helpers. And I think what this is saying is the grace that you need will come through the right people. And for divine masculine, I think that's us. I think that there's something about love happening that changes them this is what they've been searching for but they've never had it not truly small victories are not the same for what this person truly desires so what is it we need to read what do we need to go deeper on now that we kind of have a, a simple understanding of where they're at ah discipline and the master teacher and it's i mean this whole deck is about guides right i get that but the fact that we land on master teacher and now we, you know, it was funny because I was like, okay, maybe we're talking about the physics and now there's all these different ways of showing someone how to see master teacher with like, what is this thing even, what, what would you call it? It's making me think about flower of life is what is it, a dodecahedron? I don't know. It's some sort of maybe one of those chemistry or like molecular um, models and you've got books and graphs and this, you know, great divine in in the this space. There's something about this that's and ooh, 33. Wow, I didn't even look at the numbers. Ooh, 14, 15, 33. I like this. So there's something about this that feels like what we have to understand is there is only one master teacher. There's only one divine being. And I think that is divine. But divine sends the energy as it needs to or where it needs to go properly disseminating things as they are supposed to land in someone's life and i think that the reason you're getting this message is because this is your job step 14 step 15 divine masculine has gone through so far i guess steps one all the way up to you know 13 they're learning all these different things and now for 14 and 15 which is celebration and victories and probably the reason they're close to each other is learning how to celebrate your victories right so you have to be the one to introduce them to this now i'm curious what number was this 29 interesting 29 39 and 33 hmm. you are helping with 14 and 15 which adds up to what you want me to show you 29 Going through that door, Divine Feminine, you may be helping them right now and don't even know it. So let's read this discipline and we'll close this reading out. 33. Oh, and I love this. There is this energy around it that is like, ooh. What did I just see? I just saw death, despair. Well, we already saw despair decisions discipline death despair decisions discipline there's something about that that feels like the divine masculine is getting a message at a time where divine has pushed them to this edge and here's what divine is telling them whatever you desire in life can be created wow Whatever you desire in life can be created, but only if you're willing to do the necessary work. That means no shortcuts, no bypasses, and no free lunges. The only path to success is discipline and consistency. Fortunately, your master teacher is present, helping you develop a heartfelt and mature work ethic by getting organized and becoming practical in your approach to achieving your goals. This is so strong, King of Pentacles, to me. Examine your heart and be willing to do what it tells you, whatever it takes to reach your aims. If you don't know what you must do, then learn. Seek out the help of mentors and guides. How funny is this? Does it say this on every single one? Because I don't think so. 
How funny is this? Seek out. The master teacher says, <laughs> seek out the help of mentors and guides who specialize in your field of interest. Divine Feminine, do you know how to have a good time? Do you know how to be joyful and celebrate? Because if you don't, and you're like, well, that's not really my thing. I, I caution you. I have often said that the Empress, one card down, if we just kind of broke her down into different pieces, is the Three of Cups. Imagine those three different beings coming together, Maiden, Mother, Crone, the dance of life, right after we see the dance of Divine Masculine coming into their grace. I believe that this is telling you, you should be good at that. You should be the one in the family that gets up and does a little jig and, and has a good time. I don't even like to dance, but I, I, I like to mess with Mr. Lightwork and have my fun and make him laugh. And it's just a part of who I am. And I think that it is a part of my feminine nature, not my masculine nature. Are you victorious? I will tell you that the divine feminine journey can often be within yourself. Is that you? You know? Is that who you are? Are you the divine feminine who has fallen victim to the ebb and flow of the journey or even whatever else it could be? Because for some, it might be like some real trauma or something. And for others, it might be, you know, past stuff, whatever it is. If you can acknowledge that both of these are truly a part of you, then you are the person to teach this to them. And if you say, Grace, uh, these actually are a part of me. I just kind of have stopped. Then this is your invitation to be the teacher. But you're going to have to brush up on these things before you go in. All right. Study and learn with an open heart and set your standards high. We just had that message recently. That's the first thing that they have to do when they come down off the mountain is set their standards high. Then they have to follow their intuition and then they have to invite serendipity or embrace serendipity, something like that. There's a, there is, this is, this is amazing. We're talking about step-by-step -step process and then this comes up step-by-step. -step. Okay. Okay. Your master teacher reminds you mastery in any area only comes from demanding nothing less than the best from oneself. And that's very, very true. Okay, what's well, very interesting as well. Oh, did I lose it? Oh, I did. I think there was a quote that that just made me think of, but I think I lost it. So I won't, I won't dwell on it too much here. Oh, I, okay. I actually, seeing the quotes reminds me of it again. It's something like absolute perfection is imperfect without love. And there, there's a, I think a grace in celebrating victories that divine masculine is missing because they seek absolute perfection, which in a way is, a, it can, can help you with discipline, trying to uh, 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 reach for it, but not actually telling yourself you must achieve it. And I think this might be something very important divine masculine learns along the way so divine feminine, be that person, show them the dance, show them how to accept their flowers and be what I think is ultimately their master teacher of anything that they don't know that is your thing. You're, you're the one you're supposed to do it. So examining all the rest of your beautiful parts of yourself, especially the ones where you are really powerful in those areas that can give you a lot of insight into where your divine masculine may need your help is literally right there. It's something that I noticed in every twin flame contract and every twin flame um, birth chart. Even there is an energy that is clearly created like for a little bit of friction to help that growth. So embrace it. All right. All right. I love you guys. I, oh no, I'm not going to get out of here. I got to stop forgetting to do this. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, I do have phone calls. Um, I am an MBA. I have a psychology degree and um, I do have a lot of experience being a twin flame, but also being a twin flame coach and being on the outside of this and not having information. Like I've gone through the whole experience. And so I think that 
in addition to my tarot calls and my tarot readings where you could get like a recorded reading, I think phone calls where we can discuss as a whole, the Twin Flame experience are one of my most valuable offerings, to be honest. So if you want a reading from me, you guys know I'm I'm on point, all right? And a general reading can only get so far. So imagine my personals. If anybody wants to vouch, thank you. Um, but I really do hope that whatever you need from me, that you feel comfortable in this space to ask for it, especially if it's something I can do for the collective. Um, so I really love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, night, morning, evening, wherever you are. And I will talk to you hopefully in the next day or two here. Okay. Love you.